Hi guys, today I'm really excited because we are going to read the story of the three little pigs. Three little pigs built themselves three little homes. The first pig built a house with straw. The second pig built a house with sticks. The third pig built a house with bricks. No sooner had the first pig moved into his house than the wolf came by. He was very hungry and he could think of nothing more tasty than a young juicy pig. Little pig, little pig, let me in, the first pig replied. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff. And I'll blow your house down, roared the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the straw house down. The little pig ran away to his sister's house, made of sticks. Soon the wolf was at the door of that house too. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. The second pig squealed. On my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, howled the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the wooden house down. The little pigs ran away to their brother's house made of bricks. The wolf soon found that house too. He called, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. The third pig replied, Not by the hair on my tree, tree, tree. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, shouted the wolf. And he huffed and he puffed until he nearly burst, but he could not blow the brick house down. Perhaps he'll go away, said the first pig. No, squealed the second pig. I can see him climbing up the drain pipe. He'll try coming down the chimney, gasped the third pig. The pigs cooked a pot of soup in the fireplace. They removed the lid and stoked up the fire. The wolf sniggered, I'm coming to eat you up, little pigs. One of you for breakfast, one for lunch, and one for dinner. But he jumped right down the chimney, straight into the hot pot. Ouch! cried the wolf. He hopped around the house, howling in pain. The third pig threw open the window, and the wolf leaped out. The three little pigs knew he would never bother them again. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this story. Make sure when you're building a house in the wild, use lots of bricks. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more fun stories with little Zoe. Bye-bye.